ಮಧುವಾತಾರಿತಾಯತೆ ಮಧುಕ್ಷರಂತಿ ಸಿಂಧವಾ ಮಧ್ವೀರ್ಣ ಸಂತೋಷಧೀ ಮಧುನಕ್ತ ಮುತೋಷಸಿ ಮಧುಮತ್ಪಾರ್ಥಿವಗುಂರಜ ಮಧುದೌರಸ್ತು ನ ಪಿತ ಮಧುಮನ್ನೋ ಬನಸ್ಪತಿ ಮಧುಮಾಗುಮ್ಮಸ್ತು ಸೂರ್ಜ ಮಾಧ್ವೀರ್ಗಾವೋಭವಂತು ನಃ ಓಂ ಮಧು ಓಂ ಮಧು ಓಂ ಮಧು ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಬ್ಲೌಸ್ ದಿ ವಿಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ವೆರಿ ಓಷನ್ ಗಿಫ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸೆಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಮೇ ದಿ ಆರ್ಬ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ಬಿ ದ ನೈಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಾನ್ಸ್ may every particle of mother earth be charged with blessings may the heavens shower us with benediction sweet unto us be the noble forest trees sweet unto us the radiant sun sweet unto us be all living creation of sweetness honey harmony and peace so our topic today is journey life is a journey we are all moving where we do not know but we are all running try to grab the objects of the visible universe try to make my own and i move on and time comes the object i love is snatched away from my hand things go away from my hand i think i will be happy with this achievement accomplishment gain but after achieving them we find no i am not satisfied this running after something which we do not know but we are dissatisfied all the time in this running and grabbing and holding and then crying and weeping and again trying to grab something else again trying to get something and this endless struggle is going on and on and on if we look at that this is a journey we do not know where we are moving on what is our goal what we are really aspiring for but consciously or unconsciously this is the truth which we are all searching for and that's the way the upanishadic sages have declared which i quote many times before you that srinant vishve amritas putra aye dhamani divyani tastu vedahu mitam purusham mahantam ಆದಿತ್ಯವರ್ಣ ತಮಸ ಪರಸ್ವಾತಿ ಮೃತ್ಯು ಮೇತಿ ನಾನ್ನ ಪಂಥ ಬಿದ್ದತೆ ಅಯನಾಯ ನಾನ್ನ ಪಂಥ ಬಿದ್ದತೆ ಅಯನಾಯ ನಾನ್ನ ಪಂಥ ಬಿದ್ದತೆ ಅಯನಾಯ what a grand call from the upanishadic sages and this is a declaration after experiencing that end which we are all searching for and we are all crying and weeping to great and gab and run not knowing what should be our real focus the upanishadic sages here declares listen listen people who live in the earthly planet and in the heaven and in any other higher abodes of reality i have realized the truth knowing which you can conquer death you can conquer all suffering you can conquer all misery and that is another way and i have done it you can also do that that is our goal journey means what journey means a destination to reach i am here i am making a journey to san francisco means what i am here san francisco is there there is a distance 
and we are trying to cover the distance and when I reach San Francisco, my journey ends. The distance between me and the goal is far. We do not know. Even we do not know where we are running. We are running for money, wealth, prosperity, youth, physical comfort, material gain, being good, being bad, being mean, being unkind, being loving, being hate, hateful. All these various ways we are struggling, running, running, running to reach some destination. Through the experimentation of life, we try to reach and reach and go and find where to stop. We do not know. But it is, a destination is there. And the sages have understood and found out that destination. And they have said, I have reached that destination. And that is, Yat prapyo na kinchit banchati na shochati. Narada Bhakti Sutta says, attaining to that state, Nakinchit Banchati. You will not be interested in anything in the universe, anything in the material world which it can give you. It is so meaningless, it is so trifle. And that is the thing we are searching for through our mundane search for worldly thing, mundane sensate experiences, mundane meanness, kind, unkindness, and all these different aspects of life which we are all struggling, struggling, struggling to reach. But we are dissatisfied and dissatisfied. So journey means to meet this gap between me and the goal. The most of us are making a journey not knowing. It is journey is going back home, our eternal home. Our state of birthless, death, deathless state of our personality to reach that end is the goal of our life. And we are unconsciously moving or consciously moving. That's the difference. But journey, every one of us is busy, 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 busy. Why busy, why busy, why busy? There is an answer. I don't get a time to breakfast. I couldn't get something to do. I am so busy in my office. My, my, this, this, this. What for? Why are you running? What is the end result? No, get some money. What is it? Okay, get money. What then? I got money. Then what? I got little comforts. Okay, well, then what? Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you peaceful? Are you satisfied? Are you, do you feel that what you are seeking for, you got it? So this is the idea that we have to search for. Our journey is always making us move on and on and on to a destination. And journey will end when I reach that destination. When this gap of finding something eternal, finding something peaceful, joyful, blessing, blissful, reached. It is not a reaching means now walking on like that. Yes, walking is an example. Or material destination we fill up by going to a one place to another place and we merge into that one consciousness ultimately. That's why whole spiritual science is to find this destination. And not only knowing the destination, not only hearing about the destination, but to make a journey. You can have all the information to it. First of all, we don't know. By God's grace, if we know from the sages and saints, of all religion, all tradition, talking about to reach, there is a certain destination and we must have to reach that destination. Before that, we are not satisfied. We will remain the same crying, weeping person in the world, depending on the mercy of the whole world, depending on the mercy of the nature, depending on the mercy of people, friends, relatives, but actually no one can give me comfort. So this unending pursuit should end at a point of fulfillment, achievement, accomplishment of that which is our very spiritual nature. And that is to reach. So we are searching, searching starts from outside 
searching through the object because we are constructed or we are we are framed like that that we have the senses and the senses and the sense objects are there and this is a very natural thing that they connect with each other eyes will see the beauty ears will always crave to hear some sweet things tongue will always say some nice flavored food to taste skin will say touch touch nice touch this is the craving this is but natural that is the way the creation has been made but we try these ways to reach the goal of life the purpose of life but we actually everyone get utterly frustrated people go to be mean and unkind to kill somebody to torture somebody thinking he will be happy he will be powerful he will be strong he is the hero he is the macho person but after that he frustrates himself and he cries and weeps and repents ah why did i do that why this this and that 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 internal analysis comes unconsciously it appears in the mind if we probe into our life taking first a journey starts not knowing that's why running here and there in a wrong and right direction not right direction first wrong directions and being selfish being unkind being brutal being grabbing first for me at the cost of everyone and failing there then try to be unselfish try to love others that also you go on trying 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 then a point comes that also does not give me joy so what is the joy we go beyond good not only bad go beyond bad and good bad give up bad go to be good good be above so to transcend life to transcend the sufferings and miseries of life is a journey and we are all unconsciously consciously moving into that journey it is going back home to our eternal home we have forgotten rabindranath tagore says kabe ami bahir holem tumari path che o oh lord when i started my journey looking at you as my goal to reach she to aaj ke noy this not this this lifetime but when i do not know when i started this journey and this journey we cannot stop this moves on and on and on till we reach the goal swami vivekananda said that arise awake and stop not till the goal is reached arise what to arise this is the consciousness to be where i am going this question must be put again and again into the mind it should come why i am here where i am going why this life why this trouble of life to go to school college earn higher education in all all giving up all our other pursuits to earn money to get family to get children and die one day why 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 that awakening should have to come that i should be awakened into the consciousness why i am here what is the purpose what i am gaining if it is not life will go on and one day we find that last moment death has appealed and he is standing knocking at the door and not we 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 cannot say anything to him but he will grab and it is a natural phenomena of life that we are born will die but this later before death we should have a meaningful living we should have to have a very meaningful purposeful living that we are here for a greater purpose we know that that's why arise just you're sleeping we are in slumber let us look at our life who have thought today why i am this morning getting up 
Why am I going to office? Why I am earning money? Why I am sweating my uh, all hard labor for these things of the world? Why? 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 What purpose? We should first have to get out of the slumber, slumber of tamas. Being satisfied, we are very, co uh, very complacent. Okay, today is gone. Good, good food, good thing. This, this, this happened. Oh, something bad happened. Okay, that is bad, but I don't like it. Okay, this, 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 this. We are very complacent people. But, but spiritually awakening is a question. Arise, get out of your slumber, and try to see why, what, what purpose? Why, why all this pursuit? Why all this? Spending of energy, restlessness, and why so much suffering? Why so much pain? Why I suffer so much? Is there no way out? Arise, awake! Not only arise, just get up from your bed, wake up, then move. Three stage. Sleep. From sleep, you awake. Arise, just be, sit in your bed, then still. Slumber is there in the eyes and eyes are getting dozy. No. Wake up. Open your eyes. Move on then. Stop. Not till you reach the goal. So this is the point. Spiritual life is here. That why we are here. Where is our destination. And how. Then will come the question how I can proceed towards that destination. And ultimately reaching that goal. Giving a person a full freedom, freedom from all bondage, suffering, pain, anguish, uh, anxieties, and establishing them into the eternal truth. Attantiko dukkha nivritti. The purpose of spiritual life, the sages say, Attantiko dukkha nivritti. Buddha also said, dukkha. Dukkha means suffering. Nivritti means getting out of that dukkha. How? Not momentarily. Today's problem has come, I solve one problem. Tomorrow problem is coming in another way. We solve in one way, and then next you see that tomorrow it is coming in a different way. So where is the solution of these problems? Is there any end of these problems of life? It comes one in one garb, and it, tomorrow it comes in another garb. So it is the fact of life, it is the reality of life. So how can goal will be attentic means forever. Dukkha, suffering cannot touch me forever. It is gone forever. This is Dukkha, the negative side. And positive side is Parama Ananda Prapti. Our, our destination is to achieve, to gain. That parama, that supreme, ananda, that bliss, parama ananda prapti, which we are all searching, ananda, 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 bliss, joy, peace, that is the destination. And not like we know peace, we know joy, eating something good, seeing something beautiful, hearing something nice, it makes us joy, peace. But we are tired of that peace and joy. Because that is so little, so momentary, so little that it just we the like you know you put some water in the frying pan and the water goes away. It is like that, followed by heat, followed by suffering, followed by labor, then energy to spend so much of energy to get so much of little joy and peace. No, I don't want that. What I want, paramo ananda. That ananda will be ceaseless, endless, perpetual, never abandon me. That is the goal. That is the journey. We are all making a journey to reach that goal. So it is a very important point. It is our life's question. People think it is a philosophy. It is not a philosophy. Don't talk about philosophy. I'm, you can read the scriptures with all commentaries and things. That's called philosophy. But look at your life. Why not make your life a point of understanding why, why and what? Then really we'll be a little, little thoughtful. Then we'll be philosophers. 
we will be all of us will be philosophers and then where to focus our attention which direction to give it will it stop our spiritual life will stop the journey of day to day life no it will make it more meaningful if we know this is the destination i am here and i am traveling to this goal and in this journey there will be obstacles will come i can intellectually if we understand this then i can drive my car much, much efficiently we are going from destination to destination not knowing why this destination and ultimately we go into wrong direction also wrong destinations in in between this mane what you call the sign posts in between your journey different sign posts but we go in wrong and right direction but in ultimate vedantic perspective there is no right there is no wrong every behavior of us is unconsciously or consciously guiding us to reach that absolute destination suppose a man very brutal person a very mean unkind person what he is seeking for he is seeking for happiness he is also seeking for joy he is also seeking for peace how his mind is clouded he feels this wrong way of troubling someone putting someone to danger creating some trouble for society for me and others in the name of whatever garb i'll be happy i'll be eternally known to people i'll be remembered by people so they try that way but that's also a search it's a false false direction of searching joy and when the struggle intense struggle goes on and finds ultimately he, he knocks at the bottom of the thing then he then turns back we 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 have here we have heard of so many people transformation of the life no going through this direction say someone is getting addicted to something addiction is good why not good it gives instant joy drinking it gives joy how can you say it is bad no it is not bad but what happens bad is this i don't find the joy i want i can drink some quantity that may give joy more quantity give more joy more joy ultimately find no it is no joy it is killing me on the contrary i become a victim of it i become a subject of pain mane his control all addictions look at our life all addictions are becoming a problem for us and we want to get out that's why alcoholic anonymous and other organizations what they are doing we tried that we hit the bottom point and then we see hey 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 he said i want it joy but not this it is not joy it is a suffering so see don't blame anyone don't curse anyone everyone is moving towards god in this own way we have passed those stages we are good people here but good not good in our hindus believe in many lives we have done all those things before and it hit the bottom and they say oh ho 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 does not not so oh please 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 i am sober for 10 days i am sober for 15 days that's the achievement that's the achievement but actually what you are trying we went into that track unconsciously knowing unconsciously that that will give me the desired joy and peace and sustained blessings to me no but he did not give then i learned to that and turned back then turns into another okay if if this drinking cannot give let me go for drug let me see what happens and then go 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 to the extreme 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 and then rock bottom again then say hey i am i i what has happened people feel so much miserable a victim of the situation so then he turn back where the next see 
no negative. Vedanta does not say anything negative. Vedanta says <coughs> it is a learning process. We learn, we learn. Every day we are learning and we are redirecting our attitude towards the higher and higher and higher. So going back way, this negative way, we turn back and then try to be good. Now you become good, someone becomes good and he is very honest, he is sincere and very uh, loving and the, this is also going on. And then when what happens? You love someone, you become unselfish and then you give your everything but you will get a blow, reward as a blow, boom. And you, all what you have given is disregarded. It is, it is just thrown out into the dust. What happens to you? Huh? I loved unselfishly and this is my reward. Then you turn loving the material objects, person, principle, thinking that that will be rewarding. But there also you get frustrated. Then what you do? Okay, I don't, I will be not expecting anything. I will give love for love's sake, okay? That, when you can start that way, you are giving love for love's sake, you have no expectation, then you see, oh, that's a great peace. And that is divinity, that is your divine self. Because you are the giver of the absolute joy, because you are Satchidananda yourself. That is your home. We reach that point, ultimately understanding that giving is, I am giving to myself. I don't expect anything. You give food to yourself. Do your, your stomach thank you? Because it is you. Your tongue thanks you? No, it is you. Your body gets nurtured. Do every cell thank you? Because you have given me food? It is I. I am that. So I am incorporated. I am identified with anything and everything we see around. So that conclusion comes in this way going from the negative side to positive side and then positive side also have, have a negative connotation. Going to heaven, we all hell. All the dualistic religion will talk about heaven, heaven, heaven. Behesto in the uh, Muslim term and a, a Christian term and other term, God, I mean, heaven, Hindu term, uh, it's a lokas, heavenly planes, eh? 14 lokas are there, all heavenly abodes are there. But that heaven is also monotony. Heaven is also not good. You do reach that heaven with so much effort, doing charitable work and serving others and being good to others, sacrificing everything for it, and ultimately you get a prize to go to the heaven. And then heaven, first of all, heaven is limited duration. It is not eternal. Huh? And then even that eternal happiness it will be a disaster. Every day ice cream, every day good food, every day nicest food, then you come down to have some McDonald's food. That will be more enjoyable. So this is the point that even going to heaven, which is the goal of many of the ideas, that you will have to turn back from that. I don't know, want to go to heaven. Heaven, I am the source of all heaven. Because the eternal joy, I cannot stop until and unless I reach that eternal home. Eternal joy, eternal peace. So this journey moves on. And then even what happens, I, I stopped up to this part, that you become generous, you become kind, and you become helping to others. And, and you see, don't expect any return. That also makes another journey. I have seen so much, I have done so much good work. I don't expect anything from them, but still I am lacking something. Then that pure mind turns towards the self. And when it turns towards the self, first thinking that God is in the heaven, God is in the holy place, God is in the holy people, yes. Getting inspiration from there and learning from the teachers of spiritual traditions, 
trying to meditate inside, trying to feel the presence. See, most of the time we get the instruction for meditation. Where to meditate? Every teacher teaches us meditate in yourself. Try to feel the presence there. And then when love grows in that direction, then what happens? Detachment comes from this world. We first tried to find all accomplishment through this world only, the sensate universe of taste, touch, seeing, hearing. But now you turn from that hearing, that tasting, that touching. You turn, uh, camera turns this way. No? Selfie, it is turning this way. And when it turns inside, then you focus there. That's your meditation, that's your prayer. And this intense indrawn nature then detaches the person from the world. And it becomes so intense that world does not exist for that person when they get perfectly absorbed within. And then what happens? Then when he comes out of that ex experience and open the eyes, they see that same reality everywhere, sparkling in joy and blessings. No? So see how the journey of our life, everyone in that same journey, someone may be the starting point, someone may be in a hundred miles away, someone may be thousand miles away. Someone may have almost reached, but to understand it is a journey, it is an unstoppable journey. Everyone have to move this way, but his question comes, how, I try to make a picture of this, that how our journey started, like animal life, instinctive life, to a little rational mind, rational thinking, trying to be doing good, failing, again trying, again failing, again trying, turning from the negative side to positive side, and positive side, even positive side seeing and doing work, you are not satisfied, then you turn, all together turn inside. And that we call the gurus, we go to gurus, we get mantra, we get initiation, that's the journey starts there, and practice that, and then you dive deep, as much, what is the sign of the journey, you are moving, real journey? you will feel that distaste for the external momentary things and taste and love for more internal and more satisfying, more enjoyable and so much peace, you don't need anything. You don't need any support. You don't need anyone's praise. You don't need anyone's sweet words, smile, because you are that source of all sweetness, all joy, all peace. That will be the end result. Stop not till the goal is reached. This is the goal is reached. And then what happens? Outcome of that realization is what? You not only find joy with closing eyes, the whole world becomes full of mart and joy because you see this he shining, everything shines. Every, everywhere you find, even there is no evil, there is no good. Because in the evil also, the same energy working, only negative direction to uh, make a journey. This is a journey. Some, someone is advanced in that journey, someone is behind the journey. A saint is advanced and the sinner is behind. But saint has a past and sinner has a future. So this is Vedanta. This is the journey we are all on. Don't feel that you are lost. Don't feel, I have done something wrong. Be like Swami Vivekananda who said, I am proud that I have done something wrong. Of course he didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> From his birth to the death, he is pure, 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 and he only is a, lived in that cosmic consciousness. But still, giving us encouragement, if anything bad we have done, be proud that you have done that. But not to commit that same mistake, but to know it's good, it's nothing bad. It has given me a chance to turn back to my goal. Hitting the, no the example I give, 
you know, when the cow, a baby cow burns, no? Calf, when it born, have you seen? The baby is just trying to stand up. With much effort, he starts and standing and standing. And then what the first search? She wants to have the milk. But what she does, you see, is hitting here, hitting there, hitting the head, this corner, that corner, does not know where is the other. And then ultimately, ultimately, searching here and there and there, and then gets the order. And then, then see the face of that calf. It's full of joy. So we are also knocking our head here and there and there. This knocking is not bad. It is a search. But when it is unconscious search, that is called foolishness. Conscious search is called spiritual life. We normally say it is a spiritual life. All religions are talking about spiritual life to make a pilgrimage. That's pilgrimage to end this journey. Every religion says, be honest, be sincere, be pure. Meaning, one level giving a journey towards the right direction. But direction is not, if you can get the direction in your hand, and you have a car, and you sit in your car, and your direction in your hand, and you know the goal is this, there is beautiful, so much joy, so much peace, so much happiness, and sit there. Then what will happen? No, I know this, now I have to move. That's why Vivekananda is called. Rise, awake. Not, not only that. Awake. This awareness should be in us. Who am I? I cannot sleep like that. I cannot spend a life, like life, animal, like life, no? A cat body, dog body. There's nothing to criticize them. But those bodies are not fit for God realization. They have not brain to question. Ah, what is this guy? Who is this? Behind the stars, who is there? Because they have no mind, not ready, body is not ready for that. But we got the body. And having this body, if we don't look the vast dimension of our reality, don't question why I am suffering, where is the end of my suffering, how can I go reach that point and not start moving. It is a moving, joyful movement if we know this. So that's why we have to discuss this, question this, and to find some direction. And also getting direction, people say, oh, I got direction. When? I got mantra, initiation. I got my guru this year. Okay, then what happened? Nothing happened. Why not happen? What has happened? The mantra is there in your hand. And the car is ready, filled with gas. Your intention to go, but you are happy, something going on, fun here. Okay, today goes, tomorrow goes, day after tomorrow goes. So, we are not making progress. Why? So, you should move on, journey. Conscious journey. Unconscious journey, everyone is doing. That takes longer time, no? Unconscious, unconscious journey. You go to the rock bottom hit the bottom and then turn and it takes long time to take it round trip, no? When the car goes in the back gear suddenly and it's going to hit something and they have to change the gear and move it in front direction, it takes time. So in our life also, the turning is necessary and this will happen even if we want or don't want, it will happen. But we ought to be aware of this journey and what a blessed journey. And in this journey we only see unfoldment of the truth more and more and more. Light and more light. Bliss and more bliss. Peace and more peace. And ultimately reaching to a point there is nothing to gain, nothing to lose. You are that. Everywhere are you. Your presence, your, your existence actually gives the existence of the whole world. You are that. Thou art that. Aham Brahmasmi. Tat Tomasi. That, that light effulgent, that is our real I. And what to know that I, to make a conscious journey, that's why we should know this, we should practice this. Come back to the point. 
practice is important. All religion talking about God. Say, uh, let us just if I go through these few points of the uh, ideas of in each religion. Say, Christianity, the journey. The journey is lifelong process of growth and transformation. As the believers, they seek to live that life in accordance with God's will and become like a God-like. Uh, you will be like Jesus-like, no? You will be honest, you will be saint-like, no? That is the goal of every Christian, devout Christian. The journey of faith. I, I believe in God. God is there and I can love him and this will step by only to move Lord this God has come in the form of Savior I will follow his path initial step to mark the beginning of a lifelong journey that faith starting with that faith and practicing this is journey moving moving conscious moving is necessary they go to the conversion we go to conversion means what to transformation of our inner personality experience that is heart should be changed and it should be made. We go to confession. Why? I done something wrong. Oh Lord, please forgive me. I will not do. What is transformation? It is a journey. Journey. They are going to pilgrimage, no? To Jerusalem and other places. See and feeling the presence of Christ here and there and there and there. So this is the journey. So all are talking about journey until goal is to reach that destination. And what is the destination? Communion with God. Hmm? So if we find that Islam, Islam is con the concept of journey which holds significant in the different realms, but in physical realm also going to Mecca, uh, going for Hajj, uh, the holy pilgrimage to feel that I am holy, I am holy, I am holy. Ultimately, subconsciously that is the stream, but philosophically is a journey. The physical journey in a pilgrimage form, mental journey in the form of prayer, five times praying and praying to God. Oh, and you, as much as you pray to God sincerely, your heart becomes purer and purer and gives you the clear, clarity and that's the journey. If we find that what about talking about Judaism, the journey is deeply rooted in the sacred text and historical events, Exodus from Egypt when you guided by Moses, that is that's giving a liberation from the slavery in Egypt towards the promised land of promised land. It symbolizes the freedom, redemption, covenant between God and the people. So this is the it is moving on. Religion can give us points. Holy people can give us direction, our gurus can guide us, but it is a journey to be made, conscious journey, um, effort should be more sincere to uh, distance, shorten the distance between God and me. Uh, God is somewhere, first we start, God is somewhere not in me, but somewhere sitting in the heaven. Okay, that's okay, let us start that way. Then gradually, if we move towards, think of God, by God's grace, the mind becomes pure. And as the mind becomes pure, that God who is sitting in the heaven will come into the heart. And that then heart what is here, it will go into everyone. So then you will find that it's there, here and everywhere. It is the one reality. And that is the purpose of our journey, spiritual journey. So. If we have to be uh, very much committed to that. Point is that journey that we cannot spend our life worthlessly, uselessly. Life has a value, most precious thing in life. Every day, every moment is so valuable. It is clicking, clicking, clicking and not stopping for anyone. We may be very relaxingly spending the day, ha 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 <laughs> We may be very happy that, oh, today was a fun day. But the day is gone. We had to make a journey, conscious movement. And if we can do that, then you see, if really this journey is made, it is not, you have to going away from the society. You are not going to the jungle. You are not going to the cave. But this, this philosophy, if it is understood, then this journey will make the house, husband and wife, they will see the divine in each other. 
Because the divine is only the goal of life. And that purity is the goal of life. And that purity is everywhere. The divinity is everywhere. And that is a journey to meet this gap. It is not thinking that it is all world and duality and all ignorance and all falsity. After knowing that you will find out that everything is permeated by that divine. So knowing this is a great achievement. It is no renunciation. We feel very much shocked when we hear about renunciation word. Renunciation of what? Renunciation of what which is momentary and accepting that which is infinite. That is called renunciation. Renunciation is not negative. Renunciation is a negative aspect. Renunciation is a positive aspect. What is the positive aspect? If renouncing only, you cannot renounce unless you get something. Or hope. You give up a job, renounce, either you get a new job, offer, or you are expecting that you will apply and get a better job. We can only give up that time. So that is the point. Giving up of, of what? A wrong concept of spirituality. And giving up what is momentary, what is not really genuine and leads us to the negative direction and we dro drops us from our goal to the bottom of the rock, no? And we hit ourselves and break our arms and cry and weep and go to hospital. Huh? And then, but to come back again, here, it's almost done. Wait. So this is the effort should be made Conscious effort, time is short, we have to be, uh, you know, uh, really if we should be serious in our thinking, but shall we lead our life like this and it will go in, in vain? Ramakrishna used to sing this song, no? or hear this, listen to this thing. Jabe ki he dino amar bipole choli Achina to Dibani, she Ashapo to Niroki. Oh Lord, shall my this day go in vain like this? I am expecting you to be coming before my eyes and experience, no? And the days is passing away like that. So you should be very serious and conscious and live in the life, but a better way in a godly life, divine life, and to feel the presence of the divine everywhere and to feel the divine within us is a journey. And we, whether we believe in God or don't believe, and even not believe, at least this much we know that we need peace, we need joy. But we will have to make an effort to reach that sincerely and to for everything has a price of its own. Spirituality does not come so easily. So only my money you cannot buy that. By your power you cannot grab it. By your own spiritual practice and prayer and meditation that comes within. So it is within us and we have to make a journey to get the success and God's grace will come. As I said, we are trying to reach God. Don't think God is sitting idle there. God is moving towards us. It's called God descends. God's to a journey. The Lord God comes in the form at this month it is Jagannath's wrath. We forgot to just mention for a spring moment. There's a car festival you see in the Venice beach. Sometimes you saw Iskon do does that. So there you find the Lord God of the high heaven comes down in the form of Jagannath, Balaram and Subhadra. And then you pull that rod. God comes down and tries to mix with us, to give his company. He came as Christ, he came as Buddha, he came as Ramakrishna, he came as Rama, he came as Sri Chaitanya. To be with us so much the infinite absolute reality with much compassion has taken a form to appear before us to give a touch and pray to feel that, that I am here with you. So God comes down with us. So as we move, 
God also is moving towards us. So it is ten times more. If we put one, Ramakrishna said, if we move one step, God comes ten steps. So, so much concession. So we should try to do our best to make this good journey and be blessed. Thank you all. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnami Bhavasishate Om Shanti 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 <coughs> Om, all that is invisible is verily the infinite Brahman. All that is visible is also the infinite Brahman. The whole universe has come out of that infinite Brahman. Brahman is infinite, although the whole universe has come out of it. Om, peace, peace, peace be unto us all.